You know, see, but most tech companies are at Computex this week in Taiwan, and we're already seeing a flood of announcements. In fact, the industry's buzzing following Jensen Wang's announcement of the next generation Ruben GPU platform and associated Vera ARM CPUs. These will replace Grace, Grace Hopper and Grace Hopper as NVIDIA's scalable AI platform in 2026 and beyond. And it's excellent to see NVIDIA honor another woman in science with their platform names, in this case, American astrono astronomer Vera Rubin, who passed away in 2016. What do you think of the news? Well, it's kind of amazing, honestly, that uh, NVIDIA is stealing their own thunder by announcing their next generation platform so soon. Uh, most of us are just barely getting used to Blackwell as the latest NVIDIA platform, but they've announced at the show as well a TikTok approach to upgrades that reminds us of Intel in the classic period. So we're going to see a uh, super uh, Blackwell Ultra series that's going to come uh, sooner in 2025, and then they'll introduce the Rubin AI platform after that in uh, 2026, and then we're probably gonna have a Rubin Ultra after that. In, in addition, I think that most of us expected that they would be revving uh, Grace, uh, the, the, the CPU platform as well, and it turns out, yes, they are. Uh, it is nice to see that we're gonna get some names that go together nicely here. So there's going to be uh, Vera CPUs, there's going to be Rubin uh, GPUs, and there's going to be Vera Rubin scalable AI processors here. Uh, these things are kind of what you would expect they would be. Uh, essentially, we've got uh, more of everything, faster of everything. We've got better, faster, new memory. We've got a new version of NVLink to connect it all together. Um, I guess the only question is, why did NVIDIA think that they needed to announce or pre-pre-pre-announce their next generation platform? when they could have just as well said, you know, we're gonna do Ultra next year and something new after that. They didn't need to release the names, they didn't need to release any of the specs, but they did. And I guess that suggests that maybe NVIDIA is either running scared or maybe more likely just trying to cement their position and show that they have this incredible roadmap that none of their competitors are gonna be able to meet. I guess we'll see how well these things work in reality once they're released. But of course, everybody's gunning for NVIDIA, so now we know where they're going next, and I guess the rest of the industry is going to be forced to respond.